Hello YouTube, this is Mad Over Tech, and this is uh, an unboxing and hands-on video of the Nokia Asha 201, released in the fourth quarter of 2011, and now it, the price its price is rupees 3,800. <coughs> As you can see from the box, it has WhatsApp pre-installed in it. Uh, then we can. It also has a store. It has a Four, 1430 mAh battery which is quite powerful uh, I have used this phone for quite a while so I can I have experienced it and and I am quite satisfied as long as I don't want it for internet use it has a QWERTY keypad and a 2 megapixel back camera it does not have any front camera it supports memory card up to 32 GB it has uh, FM radio recording, uh, FM radio with record recording. It supports 3.5 mm uh, headphones jack, 2.0 micro as uh, micro USB slot, and it supports GPS and Edge, but it has no Wi-Fi. That is one of the drawbacks of this phone. It is uh, quite similar to the Nokia Asha 200, which is dual SIM, but this is a single SIM variant. Uh, so, let's begin with the unboxing. This is the device. It's the black colored device, uh, black colored uh, piece, and uh, the. Okay, so. Let's see what else is in the then the box. There's the battery pack, 1430 mAh. The usual Nokia headphones. The charger, Nokia ThinPin charger. This one, ThinPin. Uh, the Life Tools introduction. And the user guide. Who wants to read it? <laughs> so let's put the battery pack into the phone. This phone has a uh, the di dimensions are the that the height is 115 millimeters, the width is 61.1 millimeters, the thickness is 14 millimeters, while the weight it's quite a light device. It's 105 grams. The uh, Dimensions and weight are quite similar to the Nokia E5 and the phone is similar to the Nokia X201. The E5 has uh, the curve, uh, it doesn't have so so much of curved edges but still the f uh, figure and everything is a bit similar to Nokia E5 though the functioning and the phone is similar to the Nokia X201. This uh, comes in the colors of uh, graphite, green, blue, aqua, pearl white, pink, orange. So uh, let's turn it on. This does not have any Wi Fi, and uh, the 2 megapixel camera has a resolution of 1600 into 1200 pixels. I feel that the camera is quite good for. A 2 meg megapixel one, though it's not very good in bad light conditions, though in, in places where there is sufficient light, the camera is very good. So, and uh, so the uh, standby time, uh, the battery is quite powerful as per me. 
it uh, uh, once it is fully charged one can use it for two days continuously uh, uh, I mean uh, it for two days uh, general usage and uh, according to the internet stats standby time on 2G is 890 hours talk time on 2G is 7 hours music playback time is 52 hours F it has a good FM radio and also supports recording the video recording is uh, unsatisfactory though the camera is quite good in good light conditions you can see that camera is good but the video quality is bad you can also zoom in it takes a bit of time as it has a 32 MB RAM you can scroll over it also has some photo editing options and this is the home screen you can insert shortcuts and uh, some kind of toolbars see this is the shortcut bar this is the contacts bar and this is the uh, music and FM radio bar music and FM radio this no this is the menu music I've installed the theme so it's looking like this the default theme is different you can always download it from the Nokia OB store messaging calendars contacts mail the Nokia Express browser which is very good at saving data charges apps and uh, there are quite a number of apps like stopwatch countdown timer notes to do list voice recorder gallery calculator alarm clock there are more the world clock is very fascinating it looks good it has the world map and you can set times of four different cities at the same time as you can see it's a world map then you can also convert uh, sizes of t-shirts and pants and whatever where it's not useful for the general people it has Shazam preloaded, life tools, introduction, games gift. It has 40 EA games as a gift, but you will need data uh, pack for downloading them. It has a converter, size converter, and it also has WhatsApp preloaded in it. Otherwise, you can always download download it from the OB store or through your PC uh, by the Nokia Suite. Now. Uh, the camera is still not yet over the camera is very interesting it has some features though it's only a 2 me megapixel camera it has effects like the sepia effect the normal effect the grayscale and the negative one I love the negative one it looks really good for example if I select it it's looking really good effects are done now we have the fight balance it has a self timer you can also switch on the grid uh, then it also has this thing you can restore it to default the settings are there the photo size you can adjust the resolution Photo preview, memory card, where to save it, or self, the sound, self timer, etc. 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 Uh, otherwise, after you click the photo, uh, like you see, you can edit it, you can edit photo you can rotate it or otherwise yeah. 
uh, apart from rotating there are you can ins uh, you can crop it up you can add effects like these black and white negative old photo blur sharpen solarize the solarize is the best of all this is the uh, the gray emboss is also quite good color emboss and the gray sketch the oil painting origin apart from that it also has some preloaded frames which you can add to your photo like this the jail the jungle love some kind of artistic thing newspaper party aquarium and wanted so you can insert them you can also add clip arts which are also preloaded like these then you can add text and also auto enhance the quality of the image like this it's actually getting auto enhanced this is the better one you can increase the brightness and contrast and you can also uh, adjust the red blue green colors so this was the photo edit editing options and you can also save it this is two percent not saving it apart from this uh, it does not have any front camera then uh, the video recording resolution is 176 into 144 pixels while the photo camera resolution is uh, 1600 into 1200 pixels then I think that's all of it the Nokia Asha 201 mm, you can add a lot of apps and stuff you can download themes it's a good budget device as long as you don't want to use internet this was the function key I forgot to introduce the keyboard this is the QWERTY keyboard it has a function key shift key symbol key control key the selection keys the power uh, the answer key the call reject key the internet key and the messaging key so this was Nokia Asha 201 thank you if you like the video please subscribe and like this was mad over tech